Hello, guys. Anyways, go along with my new go uh, Goosebumps and Animorphs series. Today, we'll be looking at all my all my Give Yourself Goosebumps books. Anyways, let's get into it. So, first book I have is number one, Escape from the Carvel of Harder. The Carnival of Horrors. It's not too bad of a book. Actually, not too bad at all. Um, next book. This is one of my favorite Goosebumps books. I actually uh, got the good ending. I got the good ending on this book. I think every Give Yourself Goosebumps book has a good ending, but they're really hard to get. Like, this one actually good. Escape from Trapped in Battling Hall. This one I didn't read too much of, but if you look in the back, being a little kid in um, school's no picnic, you pretty much join a club and it, and it goes wrong. I won't spoil what happens, but you should get the these books yourself. Anyways. Trapped in the Deadly Experiments of Dr. E, because another good one. I actually became a dog in this one. We won't talk about that, though, because that's spoilers. It was Night in Werewolf Woods is another one good one, because I got the good ending. This one, I think I got the good ending, though. Some of them, I lied about they're always in a good ending, but if there is... I must have not found them. Well, okay. Night and Screaming Armor. I don't have all of them. I just have the first five. But this one, I got two copies of, and I gave one away to school. To the school, but your cousin gives blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is another one. It's kind of weird, though. Deep in the Jungle of Doom is, has one of my most favorite artworks other than the uh, um, Return to the Carnival of Horrors and, and the, I forgot the name of it, something, uh, and TikTok, You're Dead, but other than that, okay, A Scream of the Evil Genie, I really didn't like this book too much, um, the the creepy creations of, didn't like this one too much either, but I'll just put it there. This one is one of the most better books I've read. I've gotten some of the endings. I think I got a good ending. Okay, this one I haven't read yet. I have to read. Twisted Tale of T Tiki Island. And Beware of the Purple Peanut Butter. Oh gosh, that one. That one goes on the bottom here. I think I've solved them so far. Um, Come on, really? Okay, I have the first seven books in the series. And some of these are mixed between. But I have all seven of the first books in the series. I have all eight of the first books in the series. Okay, let me, let me do some. I have all, uh, one through nine books, I guess, all connected together, which is pretty cool. Anyways, let's continue. After Tiki Island is turned to the Carnival of Horrors, which has another, this is the UK version, I think. Yeah. The UK versions of these books are kind of special. Anyways. Um, Invaders from the Big Screen. I didn't really like this book too much, but it's collectible. Anyways, Revenge of the Buy Squeezers. It's half my favorite, but um, I'll do a video about uh, the uh, Body Squeezers because this book's rare. This is, I think, the only video that has this book about it in here, so that's how rare it is. It's $50, but I was able to get it for free. After, they said, you can get three Goosebumps books and you'll get one free. And this is the one I choose to get free. Anyways, um, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed my series. Next will be an Animorphs video. Anyways, bye-bye.